Hello, and welcome to our lesson on the multiplication and division rule of indices. So, before we begin, we're going to understand why the multiplication and the division rule works. Say, for instance, we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 3 we can write as 2 times 2 times 2 multiplied by 2 squared, which is 2 times 2. So now we have 2 multiplied by itself 5 times, which is 2 to the power of 5. This value we call our base, and this value we call our power. So when the bases are the same, which they are here because they are all 2, we simply add the two powers together. 3 add 2 will make 5. We can write this as a formula. When we have a base of n to the power of a multiplied by the same base n to the power of b, our formula is n to the power of a plus b. For the division rule, if we have 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 2, our bases are the same. So we have 6 to the power of 5, which is here, divided by, now it's easier to see the division as a fraction, and it is 6 squared, which is 6 times 6. Unlike any fraction, if we can simplify it, we should. And you can see this 6 will simplify with this 6, and this 6 will cancel with this 6. So we're left with 6 to the power of 3. So the formula for the division rule is, if we have the same basis, and the power of a divided by n to the power of b, we subtract the powers a minus b. And now we can use these formulae to simplify the questions a to e. For question a, we have 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 2. The bases are the same, so we simply add the powers, which is 2 to the power of 5 and 2, which is 2 to the power of 7. Do you want to try question b yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, so 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of negative 2. The bases are the same, so it is 3 to the power of 4 add negative 2. 4 add negative 2 becomes 4 take away 2, which is 3 squared. Okay, let's try question C. So we have 6 to the power of 10 divided by 6 to the power of 5. You can see the bases are the same. And it is a division, so it is a subtraction of the powers. And 10 to the 5 is 5. So we have 6 to the power of 5. Do you want to try question D yourself by pausing the video? And you can resume it when you're ready. For question D then, we have 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 4. The bases are the same, so we can subtract the 4 from the 5, which gives us 7 to the power of 1, which is 7. And finally, do you want to try and simplify a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 8? Again, by a part of the video, and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we have a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 8. The bases are again the same, so we have a to the power of 5 take away the 8, which is a to the power of negative 3. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.